The purpose of the press call held recently was to announce a heritage environment record for Gibraltar. Environment Minister John Cortes was flanked by Museum Director Clive Finlinson and Marcelo Sanguinetti of the Gibraltar Tourist Board. The Heritage Ministry believes people may have items of note in their homes, but isn't going down the enforcement route at this stage. Instead, it's calling on anyone who may have antiquities of value to simply register them with the museum, so they may be issued with a license to keep them. This would mean that you would legally have uh, possession of, 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 of this item, but the museum would be able to record it and it would be part of its database on on, on the rich heritage that Gibraltar has. Speaking to museum director Clive Finlinson, we put it to him what items he expected the public to bring forward. I really have no idea. Um, I think some of the things we've seen here, the artifacts, clay pipes, those are the typical things. But you always live in expectation that you just don't know what might find. Gibraltar is so rich in heritage, there's so many layers and layers of heritage that you just don't know what might turn up. These Roman figurines that we've seen today were really exciting. We had some in the collection, some more have come, one thanks to the minister, and uh, it just goes to show you what Gibraltar can offer. Speaking to GBC, Minister John Cortes stressed that the public are legally obliged to hand these items in. Absolutely. The law requires that they should be handed in to the museum. What we're doing with this amnesty is allowing people who may have had them recently or many, maybe for many, many years to come in, catalog it, have it recorded, uh, and then legalize the situation so that um, they can then have not only uh, the item itself, but also a license showing that it's been properly catalogued uh, with the Gibraltar Museum. Whether a family heirloom or an artifact you may come across, the ministry reiterated the purpose of the amnesty was to build a record of the antiquities so there is a database of all items in Gibraltar.